Hello everyone, it's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is the first video that I'm filming in my new beauty room and today is actually Christmas Eve and you guys all know I just have to do a Christmas Eve makeover because that is like literally like my thing just like doing makeovers like transformations makeup hair outfit everything you guys know the deal so of course I had to do one for Christmas Eve <laughs> Also, before I begin the video, I know there is like a crazy echo going on in this room and that's because I don't have a rug yet or something on the walls. So it's just like very, very echoey in here. So I apologize for that, but for now, I can't really help it. So you're gonna have to do with how it sounds right now. Also, let me know if you guys want me to film a new beauty room tour and makeup collection tour um this bitch just needs a shower right now that's the first thing that i'm gonna do um i cleaned the whole house this morning with gelano so i'm kind of like tired but i can't be tired because it's christmas eve you know i gotta get my act together my beauty room isn't like a hundred percent finished yet because i told you guys like i still need to put like stuff in the walls because all of the walls are empty right now um, except for like the GGB sign, but I just like need to fill up this room so it doesn't sound as echoey So I need a rug like stuff for the wall and just like a little bit more decoration But other than that like everything is done like I have all of my makeup put away like everything is just like in its place So if you guys want me to do a tour then definitely let me know because I would love to do that for you every single time i come out of the shower i just have to lather myself in body lotion or like body butter and the one that i'm using today is the body shop warm vanilla and this is like one of my favorite body lotions for winter because it literally smells like warm vanilla it's like amazing but i've heard from some people that they actually discontinued this body lotion and I don't understand why because it was so good. So I'm gonna start on my makeup. Um, I really want to do a red lip, duh, because it's Christmas. I didn't do a red lip on Christmas last year and I kind of like regretted it because it's Christmas. Like you gotta do a red lip at least for one day. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna do a red lip, which means I'm gonna do neutral eyeshadow. We'll see where we end up today. I'm gonna start with primer. I will have all of the makeup products in the description box, by the way. This is Charlotte Tilbury, Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. I'm putting this on my brush because I don't wanna use my hands. Does anyone else like have the same thing? Like I just got out of the shower, which means I'm clean and I don't wanna like touch makeup. Or like makeup products or like skincare on my hands because it just it just makes me feel like immediately not clean i'm gonna go in with the iconic london radiance booster which is this product right here and if you guys want glowy skin then you need to get this because this will just make you look like a disco ball if you use too much of this you will literally glow in the dark this is the shade caramel glow and you only need like a tiny bit because a little bit goes a very long way i'm going to show you guys what it does to your skin do you see this do you see the glow that it's giving i'm using the morphe filter effect foundation in the color tan 17 and I'm just gonna apply some of this straight onto my face. And I'm gonna use the, ugh, it keeps like leaking. I'm just gonna use the same um, brush and just blend this into my skin. I think my favorite tool to blend in my makeup is like a stippling brush. Like by far it's 
the best brush for basically everything like i blend out my contour with a stippling brush my foundation my primer like it's just a really good brush to have in your collection i did a pretty light layer of foundation like you can still see some discoloration on my skin but i'm just like gonna cover that up with concealer like i'd rather put on some more concealer than put on more foundation because if you put on more foundation it just instantly feels heavier which i don't really like for concealer i'm gonna mix two concealers together this is the joe high coverage concealer this is like full coverage like full 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 coverage and then this is the urban decay stay naked concealer which is like my go-to concealer but i do want a little bit more coverage today so that is why i'm also going in with this monster right here i'm gonna put some underneath my eyes some on my nose and then some on the pimples that i have right here well it's not really pimples it's more like scars and like just oh, itchy nose um it's more like scars and discoloration i've been getting so many like breakouts on my cheeks from the freaking mask that we have to wear like it's my skin just does not like the mask like I keep breaking out. It doesn't matter if I change my mask, if I wash my mask, like my skin just doesn't like it. Something that I've been doing for my under eyes is before I use a sponge to blend it out, I first use a brush. So I kind of like move the product around where I want my concealer to sit like this. And then just leave it there for a few minutes. Do the same thing on this side and then after a few minutes well not minutes seconds i mean i take my beauty blender and then just and then just kind of blend it out i forgot to do cream contour and blush oh no I usually do my cream contour and cream blush before my concealer because my concealer just always creases really bad. I'm just using my go-to contour sticks from Sosa Vices and Jackson. Just going in with the stippling brush again. Blend that in. And for cream blush, I'm using the Kiko Velvet Touch Creamy Blush Stick in the color 06. Such a pretty color. I'm going to use two different setting powders today. This is the first one. It's from Makeup Revolution. It's the Eye Bright setting powder, I think. And I'm going to use this to set my concealer underneath my eyes. I'm just using this um, tiny sponge from Morphe. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going in with this Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is the... What is this called? I don't know. Charlotte Tilbury powder in the color medium, number two. And I'm just going in with a brush and setting the rest of my face down well only in my t-zone i don't really like powder the rest of my face i only powder my t-zone okay that is looking really good so far i am going to go in with some bronzer and i'm gonna use hmm, which bronzer should i use today i'm gonna use this one from nyx because i haven't used it in a very long time this is the matte bronzer in the color deep tan and it looks like this i think i've only used this bronzer like around five times or something and i've had it for so long just putting that over the cream contour that we just did to kind of intensify the bronze um, the base makeup is done. So before I move on to my eyes, I'm actually going to blow dry my hair. Because um, I am going to style it, so I need it to be dry, obviously. My hair is like almost dry. 
well my roots are dry which is the most important thing but this is like still kind of a little bit damp but it's fine i think it'll be dry when um when i'm done with my makeup i um i'm gonna do my brows first i'm just gonna use some eyebrow gel this is the benefit 24 hour brow setter i'm just gonna brush them up like i always do i literally never do anything for my brows except <laughs> just put brow gel in them i'm first gonna go in with the natasha denona glam face palette and the palette looks like this and i think that these colors are gonna be perfect for today's look i'm first gonna go in with a lighter color this is the transition color i'm just gonna put this in my crease and i'm gonna drag it upwards like to my the tail of my brow because of course i'm gonna do a cat eye you see the difference this is no eyeshadow and this is eyeshadow this is just like pulled back and very snatched the transition color is on and now i'm gonna go in with a darker color called smoke which is this really dark brown color right here and i took the other color pretty like high up but this color i'm like really going to focus it like like right into the crease like that and then i'm gonna go back with the other blending brush and just blending those colors together i feel like i never use shimmer so today i'm gonna use some shimmer i'm just like not sure if i want to put it on my lid or inner corner i'm gonna go into this shade right here it says outer corner but I don't really know why you would use this on your outer corner. I don't know. I'm going to use it on my lid. Just put it on there. I think I have to use my finger because it's not really showing up. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That looks very nice, actually. Absolutely love it. Like, doesn't that look gorgeous? That looks very pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some black eyeshadow and I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I'm just gonna go into this Linda Holberg Infinity Deep Palette. This is what the shades look like and I'm just gonna go into the black color right here. Line my lower lash line with this. Only like the outer corner of my lower lash line i'm not like gonna bring it all the way in okay i don't know if the lighting is like weird but my makeup looks so much better like this but it's sitting kind of like on a downwards angle but it's looking really nice so far but i just i just put the black on my waterline and i'm gonna go in with this color right here that we used in the beginning the transition color and I'm just going to blend it out with that and make it a little bit more smoky. Just kind of smoke out the lower lash line like this. Do you see the difference? This is smoked out and that is not smoked out. For my lashes, I'm going to use my brand GGB Beauty Blossom Lashes. And I actually cut these in half. So that is what that looks like. Um, and then I just put them like on, on the outer corner of my eyes. So I first like put a little bit of mascara on, especially like in the front where there's no fake lash. Okay, that was kind of stressful because I don't have like a small mirror to look in. I only have this like big one. So I can't like really get up close, but the lashes are on. I'm gonna finish off my um, eyes with some black eyeliner in my waterline. Okay, it's looking really nice. Like I told you guys, the lighting right here is kind of off. Like it looks so much better like this. But obviously the only thing that I still have to do is my lips and I'm gonna do a red lip. I think that this is going to be the lip combo. This is Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. The liner is in the shade Unwrap Me and the liquid lipstick is in the shade bow 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 i mean bow bow i don't know lip liner first
now time for the liquid lipstick <laughs> i'm just so scared of red lipstick i don't know what it is but it's just so intimidating and scary because if you fuck up your whole makeup look is just ruined so let's hope that i'm gonna get this in one take Oh my god, I'm so scared that I'm just gonna fuck this up. That looks amazing and the liquid lipstick doesn't feel dry, like it feels really soft. You know how um, most liquid lipsticks are like really drying? This is the makeup. I think it looks so good. Okay, so for my hair, um, like I told you, I'm gonna do really like loose soft waves like i don't want to do anything crazy for my hair today because i don't know i just really don't feel like it and i'm gonna use my i'm gonna use my t3 um 25 millimeter curler to curl my hair i'm just gonna start taking small sections of hair and just wrapping it around i'm not gonna use the clamp I'm just going to put it over the curling iron and also leave the um, the ends out. Just like a really undone curl, basically. <gasps> yeah, okay. Um, whatever, I'm just going to continue. I think, I mean, sometimes I'm like, oh, does this look good? But then in the end, you know, it just always comes together. I didn't even tell you guys my plans for Christmas, but um, my country is in lockdown right now. So there is not much that you can do. But I do really hate that we are in lockdown because I think we're in lockdown until like the 14th of January, which means we're still going to be in lockdown for my birthday because my birthday is on uh, January 3rd and I spent my last birthday in lockdown as well and it just wasn't fun last year I turned 21 and I was like okay I'm like turning 21 and I'm like really upset that I can't like you know like actually celebrate my 21st birthday and I was like it doesn't matter like next year I'm really gonna celebrate my birthday well guess the f not because we are in lockdown again okay i just finished curling my whole head this is what it looks like so now i'm gonna grab hairspray and brush the curls out this is the unite texturizing dry finishing hairspray i'm gonna flip my hair forward and just hairspray everything and kind of scrunch it like this and then oh my god my necklace is stuck on my chin then i'm gonna bring my hair forward and it's gonna look really crazy and big you know what i actually don't think that i want to brush it out because this looks really good like i think i'm just gonna leave it like this put some more hairspray in Okay, I think I am going to brush it because now the volume has like kind of gone down and the um, the frizz is like really starting to go very crazy. So I am going to brush it out a little bit. This is the outfit that I have. It's literally just a basic black suit, but I just feel like it's going to look so good with this red lip. And I'm gonna put it on right now. Okay, you guys, I kind of have to hurry because I still need to take pictures and we have to leave, like, I don't know, in 10, 15 minutes. But this is the fit and I'm so obsessed with it. I think it looks so good with this red lip. My hair is kind of annoying me a little bit. The tank top is just like a basic black tank top from Meshki. And then the suit that I'm wearing is all from Bershka, the blazer and the pants. 
are both from Bershka and I'm just gonna wear like basic black uh, heeled booties underneath. I really wanted to take a red bag but I don't have a cute one that I can wear with this outfit so it's just gonna be all black but I'm like obsessed. I feel so like, I don't know, just look really good and I feel really good. I think my makeup looks insane. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So yeah, this was my Christmas Eve makeover. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like I just had to do one, you know, like I've been doing these get ready with me is on Christmas, like New Year, so my birthday, like every single year. So of course I had to do one this year as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Also, Merry Christmas, every single one of you. And I will see you guys back in my next YouTube video. And now I'm going to celebrate Christmas with my family. I love you all so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.